Hey everybody, what's going on? Lo Effer here from iMixer. Here to show you a video tutorial today about how to get your charity stream set up through Tiltify's service. So what is Tiltify? As you can see behind me, it's a website that brings together streaming and fundraising. Helps you interact with your community for the causes that you care about. So as you can see here, you could go explore their website, see all sorts of charities. You can see campaigns going on. You can see what teams are listed on here. It's a great thing to do. So specifically, what we'll be talking about is how to how to quickly get yourself set up to participate in a team event. So here at iMixer, we do an event every two or three months, and we use Tiltify because it's clean, professional, easy to use, and it, it's just overall great. Okay. So first thing you're going to want to do is get an account created. As you can see, I'm already signed in up here. So after you get your account created, you're going to want to go to your dashboard. So if you're participating in a team event, you're going to want to make sure you're added to the team page and the and the event page for the campaign that you're participating in. As you could see up here, you have a page for individual campaigns, as you see right here for me. And you can look at your team campaigns. So this is what my team is had in the past for iMixer. This is one we have coming up. So we're going to check that one out and get everything set up. So first thing you want to do is go to the team dashboard. Oops. Go to your teams. Go to the team dashboard. Find the campaign you're supporting. Here we are. As you can see, we have a mixer channel embedded on here. So when we have an event going on, we use our iMixer channel to host um each streamer we have in specific time slots so anybody visiting tiltify could discover you on here it's uh it's pretty cool and they could support you right here through the website and you know watch your reaction when they donate because they're going to be brought to this page to donate to you and well not donate to you but donate to the event you get it so anyway first thing you want to do is create a campaign individually because what we're going to do is get you connected to Streamlabs Alerts and mix it up bot. And get it integrated with Tiltify. It's a really cool thing to do. Because then you'll be able to have your alerts pop up on screen when you get donations. And you can also set up um, other events and chat messages with your bot. Okay? So, go support campaign. Put in your campaign name. Should be something like your streamer name or part of your streamer name. Something that ident identifies with you. And then you'll want to set a donation goal on the next page and then publish the campaign. Don't forget to publish it. After it's published, go back to your team page. Make sure that you're on there. So I verify that I'm there. So a couple things we want to do before we move on to Streamlabs. You want to find out where to get a donation link and an overlay link. Okay, as you can see, I have an overlay below me here. That's displaying how much money is raised. We have a goal right down there. We have the event and the campaign name in the middle. Um, at the bottom right, it's blank right now. But when you get donations, your top donator will be celebrated over there. Okay. So let's go get your donation links. So go to your dashboard. Find your individual campaign you just created. Go to dashboard. Okay, so there's three links you could get here. You could copy the campaign URL, which takes it to your individual page linked to the event. You could copy copy your donation URL. And then over here in overview, you could scroll down and get your overlay. So this overlay link is what I have below me right now. And then that donation URL is what you're going to want to put in your chat bot. Or maybe you'll have it on a panel on your profile page where you stream. But get that set up so that people could go donate to you. And then you can celebrate it down here with this overlay. Okay? Simple enough. So now that we got all that set up. I'm going to hide that. Now let's go to Streamlabs. So log into your Streamlabs account. Go to your settings. Up at the top here, click on Integrations. You're going to find Tiltify right here a few spaces down. You'll click link, or if you already have an account linked, you'll manage. Make sure your specific event is set up. Save the settings. 
go back just to double check it. Okay, we're all good to go here. Okay? Now the next step is, you know, as simple as setting up other alerts. You go to your alert box. You're going to look at this ribbon up here. Click on Tiltify Donations. And then get everything set up. And I made it easy on myself when I set it up. I copied everything I already have set up for donations. And as you can see, when you get a Tiltify donation, like for mine, if I click on it. There we go. So that banner up there says charity donation. It has the name of the person, dollar amount they donated. What's it? What's the support campaign? So, um, that's pretty much it for Streamlabs. Super simple stuff. Now I'm going to show you what to do on Mix It Up Bot. So Mix It Up Bot, go to your services tab, click on Tiltify. Log in your Tiltify. Now there is a bug with this Tiltify login. If you'll get a pop-up window to log in to Tiltify, log in with your generic email and password that you use to create your Tiltify account. Don't log in with the mixer because the API right now is busted for it. So you're just gonna get errors and stuff. So just log in with your normal Tiltify email address and password. After you get logged in, you should be able to select your campaign. If you have any issues, um, step one, go back to Tiltify. Make sure you publish your campaign. Step two, close this bot and open it up again. It should be here. Another thing to note, if you wanna come double check on your services later, you're, you're gonna see this when you go back to Tiltify that it's not selected there, but it defaults to your last selection when it does generate the donation. So, but just click it again, just to be sure. It's always gonna do that though. So now that we have that set up, to trigger an event for when you receive a Tiltify integrated donation, you go to events and the bot, you find Tiltify donation, and then you just add a command for whatever you want to do. So what I do is a simple chat command. I do at dollar sign username, just donated dollar sign donation amount for one up on cancer. Okay. Test your command in the chat. You'll see what happens. Um, if you're a really advanced Mix It Up bot user and you do all your alerts and overlay widgets through the bot too, then you can set up an advanced command where you could do more than just a chat message. You could do whatever you want on your screen to celebrate it. So it, it's pretty cool stuff, guys. Really simple to set up as you see. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much all I have for this video. There's a few links I'm going to leave below the video. One is um, iMixer's website. So come give us a look. Check us out. See what we're about. We're a growing community with hundreds of members right now. Um, I'm going to leave our Discord link in there. Join our Discord. Ask some more questions about this particular video or other videos we have on the YouTube channel. Or put in a request for future tutorials like this one. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to have you join us. Um, and I'll lastly, I'll leave a link in here for the special identifiers when using Mix It Up Bot. But basically, all these identifiers here you could use when you're setting up all sorts of commands on the bot. All right. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.